Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajwa and I'd like to say a very special thank you to all of you for joining me today. I have 10 amazing fragrances from Middle Eastern houses that have absolutely no wood in them. Most Middle Eastern fragrances are known for their strong, woody and wood vibes. But these ones are quite on the feminine, no wood, sweet, yummy sides. The very first one I have is called Ajwad. It is by Latafa and it is known as a clone of Mancera's um, Roses Vanille. And it's also been compared to um, Delina because it has that lychee, rose, creamy, vanilla, fruity vibes. Ajwad is marketed as unisex, but to me, it leans quite feminine. It is very delicious smelling. It doesn't have any wood or Middle Eastern vibes to it. It has just this sweet, floral, lychee vibes, and that is all you get. So if you're looking for something that is um, in the lychee family, that gives you the Delina or Mancera's Roses Vanille vibe, Ajoad is one that I will highly recommend. Paris Corner has come up with this amazing La Nuit Trisor dupe. La Nuit Trisor by Lancome, actually. And this is La Nuit Pandora. This is quite a, a watered-down version of um, La Nuit Trisor. It is in the same family. It actually has about 90% resemblance, but La Nuit Trisor is quite an, an evening scent, and it sometimes comes across as, as headache-inducing for me because it is very strong, and um, it can sometimes be a little overwhelming, but this is like a watered down version of it, which is perfect for everyday wear, for work, for office, for errands. It makes it makes a perfect um, everyday fragrance. So if you don't have the, the means to get the La Nuit Trisol, this is a perfect alternative and it has absolutely no wood in it. I have to bring this one. This is French Coffee by Arihab. It is a caramel, coffee, vanilla, and chocolate scent. It is quite linear, very sweet. It has no wood in it. So if you are not um, a lover of wood, you would actually love this one. This is unisex. It is just a, a coffee scent and it is great for layering. It, it gives some sweetness to any um, fragrance you want to amp up the sweetness. It is a lovely fragrance. It is marketed towards both sexes and it is perfect for layering. So I have tried a lot of dupes for Olympia and the Olympia Intense. And one house, which is very affordable, dead cheap, you know, that has given me a total replacement for Olympia Intense is Fragrance World. This is Ophelia Intense. I love this fragrance. You can see that I've, I'm almost through with this bottle. And I had it just a couple of months ago, about two, about two months ago. It's an oriental, floral, sweet vanilla, um, orange blossom, and salty fragrance. It smells so feminine, so girly, so lovely. You know, it's, it's great for every day. Most of the fragrances I'm showing are great for every day office. This retails between the 10 to $15 Price. Harry's Corner has a dupe known as Adin, which is supposed to be a dupe of Mugler's Alien. The only difference is that this is quite watered down. When you put this one on, it's it's uh, it's as though you sprayed Alien and it's it's been about an hour or two on you. This also retails between the fifteen to or uh, let's say twelve to fifteen dollar um, price point. Another one from our rehab, which is Choco Mask. It's one that has absolutely no wood. It is just a straightforward, milky chocolate um, scent with some vanilla. This one is also perfect for layering. But if you want to just smell like straight chocolate, you can also have this one. I prefer to layer this with other fragrances that I want to just amp up the chocolate in it. This one and um, French coffee is just a great combination. Just imagine chocolate and um chocolate and coffee they smell just delicious so you can just try this one it has absolutely zero wood in it and it is just sweet and delicious i understand mark jacobs decadence is discontinued you don't need to worry because there is a perfect replacement for mark jacobs decadence and this is dolores by fragrance world this just gives me mark jacobs 
decadence, that plum, that saffron, that jasmine, that woods, and it has some a little bit smokiness to it. It is very addictive and very sexy. It will make a perfect date night fragrance. It also retails between the fifteen to twenty dollar price point, so it's quite affordable. Anna Abiyad is La Tafe's, um take on Eba Pura. People have often said um, Anna Abiyad smells synthetic. And to be very honest, I agree with them. It smells quite synthetic. You cannot really decipher which um, fruit or which fruits exactly are in this. But it gives you that overall fruity, musky, tonka bean note. It is very sweet. It is unisex, but it lays quite um, feminine to me. It's a perfect everyday scent. It has good longevity and projection. This is just a 30 ml bottle, but you can get the 100 ml bottle between 25 to 35 dollars, which is on the affordable side. This is also called Midnight Rose by Fragrance World. Their bottle is a hundred percent. This they actually nailed it a hundred percent. The bottle is totally um, Lancome's Midnight Rose with a bow and everything, the color, everything. This fragrance is quite a deviation from the original. It is not really um, close to the original Midnight Rose. But if you want something that is rosy, powdery, musky, Midnight uh, Rose by Fragrance World. It's one that is good for that and it's good for every day, um, not doing too much, for work, for errands. It's just perfect, but it will not give you that exact Lancome Midnight Rose vibes. The last one I have is Kismet for Men. It is marketed towards men, but I find it very unisex. This is supposed to be a dupe of YSL's Tuxedo or Rojas Monstage. Funny enough, I find resemblance of this fragrance to Dolores just because they are kind of duping each other. They have, they are in the same vibes. I consider this the, the his version and I consider Dolores the hair's version. The only difference between this is at the opening. At the opening, you know, this is quite sweet but a little tamed and it's also a little thick. It's, it's, it, it has some thickness to it. This, however, has some brightness to it. But on the dry down, they smell very, very similar. They smell similar to the extent that if you, you wear this, it can be mistaken for Kismet. And if you wear Kismet, it can be mistaken for Dolores. This, I believe, can also be unisex because it is not overly sweet. They are both very addictive. Kismet for men and Dolores, they are both very addictive. And this one gives off that vibes of a gentleman or a lady. It doesn't do too much. It doesn't have any oud in it. It is gentle and pleasant. Most of the fragrances I reviewed today give this Western vibe because they are duping a lot of the designer brands and they do not have any oud in it. So if you're someone who is scared to try Middle Eastern fragrances because you think um, they all contain oud, these are alternatives that are delicious. They give you that feminine, yummy vibes and they have zero oud. So you would actually enjoy them. That is all I have for you today. I'm so glad you joined me today. If you're a returning subscriber, I say I appreciate your support and thank you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. You can also press the notification bell so that you are prompted anytime I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.